We celebrate every Thanksgiving at my in-laws and my mother-in-law decorates her porch so pretty so I wanted to share that with you. My in-laws also adopted this baby grand that they bought from an auction at um, my niece's school and the boys were so excited I even tried to play the one and only song that I know. My brother-in-law Adam is the true musician in the family and he learned how to play Silent Night in about 10 minutes. Here's my mother-in-law's beautiful tablescape this year. I always appreciate that she does something special for the boys with their own little place settings. It just means a lot to me. There were less of us this year. Some people were out of town. Um, there were a couple of sick people as well. But we had such a good time, even though it was a smaller group, we just laughed and ate way too much and the boys had a great time. Hey, it is the next day. We had such a nice Thanksgiving. We were the first ones there, even though we were late, and the last ones to leave, so that should tell you something. Um, it's just so nice to spend time with family. The kids were so tired, they almost fell asleep in the car. They had that like face like kind of zoning out to the music as we got home. So when we got back in the house, they were happy to be home. Um, and so was our dog because he was hungry. <laughs> uh, it, we just put them in their pajamas, curled up on the couch. We like to have herbal tea and the boys like to have some milk um, at night to kind of help get them to bed. And so we did that. They passed out right away. Um, put them to bed and then I did a chubby girl thing and got a slice of blackberry pie that I brought from Thanksgiving that I, because I didn't eat dessert when I was there. Had that with ice cream, sat on the couch with Ian and we watched Dateline and we followed suit to bed real quick after that. But uh, everyone slept super well last night. Um, I got up a little bit earlier than everyone else to finish a project for school that was that is due on Sunday. I just wanted to get that out of the way so I can enjoy the rest of my weekend. So, so happy to get that off my plate. My husband was awesome. He got the boys breakfast and did all that. Um, I had some leftover chocolate waffles I made the other day, so it was easy, just that and some yogurt fruit. We do have some guests coming over tonight. Um, my husband's best friend, Josh, and his wife, they live out of state, but they are here for Thanksgiving. So they're going to come over tonight and have pizza with us, which is perfect. We always have pizza on Friday nights because it's the one day a week that we don't feel like cooking because, you know, the week's so long. Just kind of want to break so it works out perfect. I don't have to cook tonight. Um, but we do want to get the boys out of the house. Um, it's around 11-ish o'clock right now. Um, our old town did a Christmas tree lighting the day before Thanksgiving. So there's a huge Christmas tree that's decorated. So we just want to walk around and, you know, look at Christmas decorations and get into the season, the season spirit. Now that Thanksgiving is over, um, my bed's not made, but I haven't started really decorating yet. Um, but I have a little decorations down, downstairs, but I'll get more into that this week. Um, and then I do want to run over by BevMo and get a nice bottle of wine for our friends to either enjoy in their hotel tonight. They have an early flight tomorrow or they can take it back home with them. Got a little football going. Only really Ian watches this. I did decorate our mantle. I think I'm done. I'm not sure. Um, Got to get these little guys dressed. Having a little bit of iPad time. I want to show you an update in our dining room that I finally painted the furniture. So I chalk painted in, I think the color is called linen white. Uh, the tables just, or I'm sorry, the chairs, just one coat, just to kind of keep it, I guess, country, shabby chic. And then I did a few coats on the actual dining table. And then this hutch or china cabinet, whatever you call it, um, it was a hand-me-down from 
Ian's grandmother, um, she gave it to us about a year or so before she passed. And I wanted to get rid of it and put a little bit more of a modern one or one that was more my taste for my husband. Did not want to get rid of it for sentimental reasons, of course. But I said, if we're keeping it, I'm painting it. So I figured, you know, I could save us a few thousand dollars by not getting new furniture because I wanted to get rid of the old oak and just paint it. So that way we can keep it for another year or so. Um, and then we installed a new um, chandelier here that we got from Home Depot. You can see the kids sidewalk chalk all on our new fence that we haven't finished painting, but <laughs> I can see some of their art. Uh, but I thought that this furniture matched real well. I got this mirror, I don't know, maybe at Home Goods. Um, so it matches that type of texture. And then also my buffet table that I refurbished this one first. It was that same oak. None of this furniture matches. It's all mixed match hand-me-downs, but I had redone this one as well. So now the furniture matches. <laughs> Old Town did such a beautiful job decorating this humongous tree in the center of the town. I think it's a valuable lesson to teach kids early about tipping, especially if you appreciate someone's service. Our kids always have to do the merry-go-round every time we come down here. So of course, Jakey spotted it and said, let's go mom. Of course, we had to grab some yummy fish and chips to share. This basket was enough for the four of us. We also decided to stop at the California Railroad Museum. We have a membership currently. It's expiring at the end of this year. I'm not sure if I'm going to renew it or not, but it is really fun. I definitely got our money's worth. I've taken the boys here multiple times on my own, just as something to do in the afternoons. They have an area at the top of the building uh, where it's mainly primarily for children. They have a lot of model trains, a little toy area where kids can play. It's small, but the boys do have fun. Our guests were going to be arriving pretty soon, so we put out a few appetizers and then went on and ordered our pizza. We did end up having to order from two different places because my kids are really picky about their cheese pizza and my husband wanted a specialty pizza from somewhere else. Hey, so it is the next day. <laughs> this is turning into a three-day vlog. We decided just to stay in today, have a lazy day. I just want to be in my pajamas. I'm actually just in my... Uh, clothes I wore on my morning walk. It was 39 degrees, but I bundled up and it felt so good. I went on a walk for like an hour and I haven't walked that long in a long time. That is my favorite type of exercise. I love walking. I really want to make tacos tonight. We haven't had a taco night in a really long time. So I told Ian, I was like, I want to make tacos tonight. And he was like, okay, I'll go to the grocery store. I'll go to the grocery store. So uh, he's just going to pick up a few other things that we need as well. It's not going to be a huge grocery haul. Not, I didn't really meal plan or anything like that. The boys are brushing their teeth right now. Come on, Cheeky. Let's not put it on the door. Um, but I did want to share with you, I had gone to Bath and Body Works a few days prior and they had a sale on their hand pump soaps. They were only $2.95 each. 
Um, so I got there kind of right when they opened and I grabbed a few soaps. I already have two out, one in our kitchen and one in our uh, downstairs guest bathroom. Um, I can show you that as well. And I did pick up a couple of candles because they had a sale on three wick candles for $12.95. So let me show you that real quick. Okay, here is my little haul. Um, I will likely go back to Bath and Body Works to pick up some more Christmas candles. I'll start with my candles. These were, like I said, $12.95 each. Um, this is my absolute favorite scent. This is what my house smells like, I would say 80% of the time. So I use a wallflower downstairs and I have one in my bedroom. And then I will light a candle in the kitchen and it's the black cherry Merlot. And then I got this eucalyptus snowfall candle. So I picked up a variety. I got this crisp morning air. Um, I grabbed two of the black cherry Merlot, my favorite scent. Um, and then I grabbed a Christmas one, the Vanilla Bean Noel. Um, another Christmas one, I got the Winter Candy Apple. And then I have, this one actually is getting pretty low. This one's for my kitchen. Um, this one's just the season. I do have one of these candles left, about, it's about half burned. I really enjoy this smell around Christmas time. Yes, my house is smelling amazing and so is our hands. Ian had returned home from the grocery store. We actually did do a joint grocery haul together, uh, which was fun, but this video will be way too long if I show that whole thing. So I'm just gonna briefly talk about what we got. We stocked up on some meats, fruits, vegetables, got things for tacos, like the salsa here, um, some snacks and yogurts for the kids, cream cheese for me, ice cream, boys love popsicles, all year round some frozen items to stick in the outside freezer lots of different breads love and sourdough um, as well as some soup and other little snacky items um, that the kids will need